So Realme never fail to surprise me with their design choices. And I've got a feeling none more so than this one because this doesn't just have like a Dragon Ball case in it. The entire phone is Dragon Ball themed from what I'm told. And let me know in the comments, are you a Dragon Ball fan? And if you are, who is your favorite character? And what I'm gonna do in this video is unbox it, show you guys the Dragon Ball awesomeness. And in part two, we're gonna kind of dive into the specs on this particular phone. And for the sake of saving you guys time, I'm gonna show you guys a little magic trick. Watch this. All right, so this is everything that you get with this limited edition Dragon Ball Z Realme GT Neo 3T. And I had to record the audio for that sentence about five times, so your thumbs up would be appreciated. So first, let's look at the lid because it's got some interesting stuff happening here. On one side, we've got Goku leveling up and then we've got Realme slogan behind it, dare to leap and then on the end of the box we have a little dragon radar which true dragon ball fans will recognize straight away and then on the inside of the box we have a mural dedicated to some of goku's most iconic battles so we've got goku versus vegeta we've got goku versus frieza goku versus cell and goku versus majin buu and here's a question to test your dragon ball z knowledge let me know in the comments what were the outcomes of these four fights now, check this out. This might be the most epic Sim Ejecta pin I've ever seen. And it's so shiny. And then we have a Shenron collector's card with GT Neo 3T printed on there as well. And then on this sleeve, which houses all of the paperwork for the phone, we have a Super Saiyan Goku on one side and Majin Buu on the back. And then inside, we have a pack of some of the most awesome stickers you can ever get with a smartphone and of course the boring user manual. So check out these sticker packs. On this one, we've got a Goku sticker with Goku's third symbol known as Goku's Kanji, which is seen on the back of his gi. And this stands for wisdom and enlightenment. We then have a Piccolo sticker and a Goten sticker, who is a combination of Trunks and Goten. And then we have Majin Buu at power level 80 billion. Now that sounds like a lot, but his final form is way more powerful and he actually turns into a kid. Anyway, Mr. Satan is also part of this same sticker. And then on the next pack, we have Goku and Vegeta with real me printed there. And then we've also got Super Saiyan version of Goku. And on the next pack, we have the Supreme Kai and King Kai's planet. And we've also got Gohan in his superhero outfit, otherwise known as the Great Saiyan Man. And here we have an actual Dragon Ball and just below it, Videl. Who is Gohan's missus? And on the next sheet, we have Gohan and Videl's son, Goku Jr., as well as a cloud for flying on and some Japanese text, which I have no idea what it means. So if you know, let me know in the comments. And then we've got a big Shenron sticker as well. Okay, now let's take a look at what might be the greatest Dragon Ball Z phone ever to date. So the frame is blue and the power button is a textured orange, which is of course Goku's signature color. We've then got a two-tone back with a pattern engraved beneath the surface and angled inwards in the blue section. And then we've got a few lines in the orange section that kind of makes the back look almost 3D. And we do have Goku's kanji up in the top right corner and it kind of feels like it's a sticker, but I'm too scared to peel it off because it looks too good. Now listen, if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, but you don't want to put that out there 24 hours a day when you're at work and stuff like that, Realme do provide a very subdued and low profile silicon case in the box as well allowing you to blend more seamlessly into the boring day-to-day -day world. But when you finish work and it's super cyan time, you can take it off. That's the beauty of a phone like this. And check this out. When you unlock this device with the in-screen optical fingerprint reader, you're hit with some more legendary Dragon Ball awesomeness. There is a Dragon Ball skin pre-installed on this device and there's a few different wallpapers to choose from. And the icon pack is truly iconic and very Dragon Ball Z. I think a lot of people will appreciate this. So that's most of the Dragon Ball stuff out of the way. Now let's dive into the actual device and what it's all about. So we've got an 80 watt super dark charger in the box with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. This charger can get you to 50% in 12 minutes, which is pretty incredible. And it's done safely as well. They've got that dual battery cell tech going on here and a bunch of safety features built in. And inside the phone, we do have the mind of a super genius in the form of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 5G 7 nanometer chipset. And this has been leveled up from the previous gen, 10% on the CPU, 10% on the GPU, 
and it is going to be a powerhouse when it comes to gaming. And we do have the RAM expansion feature available as well. So you can take that 8 gigabyte LP DDR4 RAM that's built in and expand it to 13 gigabytes using some of the onboard ROM, which is UFS 3.1. Long story short, it's going to be very good at multitasking. Now, if this device wasn't cool enough, it gets even cooler with a stainless steel cooling chamber, which consists of eight cooling layers and to top it off, a bit of diamond thermal gel, which is the same stuff they use on aircraft. And it does have stereo speakers too, as well as a new haptics engine. And all of this would be pointless if the screen wasn't good, but it is. It's a Super AMOLED E4, which supports 120 hertz refresh rate and can actually toggle down to 90, 60 and 30 hertz automatically in order to save power. And the input touch sampling rate on a good phone is roughly around 240 hertz. The touch sampling rate on this phone is 720 hertz. And it's bright too, so anything above a thousand nits is considered to be good. This has 1300 nits of peak brightness, so this phone is very good. And really there's a lot to like about the Realme GT Neo 3T, even if you don't go for this particular version, because the specs at the price point that this comes in at are pretty incredible. But something else you're gonna like about this phone is the camera setup. So we've got a 64 megapixel primary shooter, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro for those close-ups. And I will test these out properly in the future in a separate video for you guys. Let me know what phone you'd like to see this compared to. But just for now, here are some samples so you can get an idea of what this phone is capable of. And when it comes to gaming, on this device, it really is fantastic. You've got that beautiful and responsive display. You've got awesome haptics. You've got the Dolby Atmos dual speakers and Realme's GT 3.0 gaming mode, which basically turns the phone's performance up to 11. And honestly, Realme, for this phone, you should have named this mode Super Saiyan mode. And if you're watching, Write that down and use it on the next one. Dragon Ball Z fans will appreciate it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I will see you in the next one. So don't be late.